What's happening guys? Chris of VA Travels, still down here in Norfolk, and I'm about to visit the Moses Myers house. This thing was built back in 1792, and yeah, pretty cool looking church, uh, cathedral. I'm gonna find out what that is. And uh, if you come to visit, you're gonna wanna park in the parking lot of the MacArthur Center, big mall over here. So used to visiting these small little towns in Virginia, I forgot what a big city Norfolk is. But uh, some quick information. Yeah, this place closes at five. As you can see, the sun's already starting to go down. Yeah, he was a Jewish shipping merchant, one of the only Jewish families in the area at the time. Obviously, Norfolk being a big uh, shipping area. And he also was superintendent of the Norfolk branch of the Bank of Richmond. And he also held diplomatic positions in Denmark and in Holland. Uh, he's from New York City. His family is from Amsterdam. And many distinguished visitors, you can read the list. Marquis de Lafayette, I think he's been everywhere. James Monroe and uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, after I take the tour, I might read this plaque and, and just take a little bit of a walk around. Before I go inside, I'll let you get a good look at this thing. And it looks like that second part back here might've been an add-on. Two internal chimneys. And this is one of the first brick structures to be built after Norfolk had burned during the American Revolution. Oh, that's just the street name, W uh, West Freemason Street. All right, so how do I get in to take my tour? I know they're open until five. It's only about, it's not even four o'clock yet. I guess maybe up here. All right, see if this door opens. Yep, all right. Here we go. All right guys, self-guided tour. The tour is free, which is cool. And they, offer, they do offer a guided tour, but I took the self-guided so I could film. <laughs> and we're in the drawing room. Grecian little kind of day bed right there. That's original. Most of the furniture in here is original, uh, except this is uh, just a period, pay, uh, period piece. Not original. Kind of uh, imperial style uh, furniture, but uh, check it out, 22 karat gold right here. And they suffered, the Myers suffered financial hardship in the 1920s. And they had painted this over and they think to hide the fact that it was gold <laughs> from the creditors. So yeah, here you go. Yeah, see, and they had to restore it. So pretty cool. And there he is right there, Moses, his wife, and their oldest son, John. Check out this old kind of mercury mirror, pretty nice frame. See what's in here. Uh, this is in a neoclassical, uh, neoclassical style, and I see kind of a Roman, Greek Roman uh, figure up there. But uh, let's let you know, five generations of Myers lived here. The only family to ever live in the house. Early 1930s, it was turned over to the Historic Society. All right, the dispenser over here, some silver. A little kind of crest right there, and a little. Again, kind of Greek, maybe, uh, figure. It'd be great if there were some lights in here. <laughs> I don't even see any lights. But, oh, that's pretty neat. Kind of form-fitted. Oh, that's pretty cool. right there and really into the uh, little bellflower down there yeah really into the uh, the Greek influence pretty good plaster work up there corners so we we're just in the dining room we are now in the parlor the room that was used to entertain guests it turned into, in modern times, this would be the living room. But uh, yeah, the upper class, you would have musical instruments, playing cards, games. What that is. Another dispenser. 
tea set. I think that would actually be a block of tea, yeah. Huh. Oh. Uh, got some feet on the harp. Sir John Stevenson. some dueling pistols. So Stephen Decatur and James Barron had both shot each other in a duel. They shot each other in the hip. Decatur ended up dying. Uh, the duel took place in Maryland. Dueling was illegal in Virginia. I've mentioned that before. There it is. Naval Captain Decatur. And there's Barron right there. And check out the plaster work on the ceiling. Pretty nice. Stairs. Okay, we're upstairs. Hmm. On the sewing table. Is that a washing bowl? I don't know. Ah, a little bed warmer. See, they would uh, normally have a canopy up there. Plaster uh, work in the, uh, always mention the rosettes down in between those teeth. Frugal housewife. A little washstand right there. Similar to the, uh, the gilded engravings downstairs. Gilded clock up here. And this is similar to the mantle downstairs. Just not gold. Pretty cool square chair here. Cool back on it. Uh. Keep all moving. Nineteen hundred brickwork, eighteen ten door jab. Wow, nineteen seventy five brickwork. Let's see the pine floor. Okay, a little right up on Moses. His company was called Myers and Company, and they were very successful pre-Civil War, the antebellum period, helped a lot with the development of Norfolk, contributed a lot to the railroad industry, construction of bridges, and timeline, all right. Uh, they served during the uh, American Revolution. Uh, all right, that's when they moved to Norfolk. So this desk was used by Moses Myers at his warehouse on Newton's Wharf. So pretty simple desk. And here is his rosewood and brass writing box. A naval dirk.
1818 to 1821. Well, there's a dirk, really old trunk, the lock on top. Pretty cool little kind of handles that are on the sides there. Oh, there's their flag, the merchant flag. Pretty simple. Uh, the Japanese style, but uh, blue. And this is their house flag picture, circa 1800. Probably came from Liverpool. An American brig. And here's an octant. The captain used this to determine longitude and latitude. Again, they need some lights in here. Down with the goods. Obviously, you've got your sugar and rum down in the Caribbean, tobacco, cotton, rice, molasses. Okay, all right. Let's see, oh, check this out. Yeah, that's the uh, British coat of arms, right? Yeah, the lion and the unicorn. So, back here is the Barton Myers room. He was a Norfolk visionary and great bird's eye view of the city. And yeah, Lord right up. He was the great grandson of Moses Myers. And he had a lot to do with the redevelopment of the city after the Civil War. Over here is his gold watch. insurance card, Traveler's Insurance Company out of Hartford, Connecticut, and that is a wallet. Uh, oral painting of him at the age of 35, the year he was elected mayor, and he is 35 years old. In that picture, he looks older. Entrepreneur. At the age of 23, he began his career as an agent of a Norfolk shipping firm. Yeah, he joined the family business that Myers and Company I had mentioned, shipping uh, cotton and other goods over to Europe. Lafayette Residence Park Company. The British War from 1903. He was a public servant entered public office 1880 served on the Norfolk Common Council for five years and died pretty made many improvements to the Norfolk streets waterworks uh, public safety departments a basket a silver basket there's his name Chamber of Commerce, Board of Trade, President, the Jamestown Expedition. Okay, helped raise awareness to the first English settlement in Jamestown. Pretty cool. Oh, he also lobbied to have the Navy Station built here, the largest naval base in the world. Great shot of Hampton Roads, Elizabeth River down there, the Chesapeake, Hampton Newport News up there. Yeah, that painting was from 1893. There's some old uh, playing cards, a souvenir cup, a souvenir bowling pin. Just some Jamestown medallions from that Jamestown expedition, a flag pin over here, Borden's Condensed Milk Company, <laughs> kind of random, 1907, souvenir bag, 50th anniversary. Okay, 1906 from that Jamestown expedition, and they all have matching hats. Huh, a church there in Jamestown. He was a promoter. 
Okay, also helped bring the Atlantic Coastline Railroad to, uh, to Portsmouth in 1886, the Virginia Railroad to Norfolk in 1905, and here he is later in life. This would be in 1920. Uh, all right, there's a, a timeline. Hmm, okay. Right, that uh, I had missed. And this is Adeline's portal. You are standing in the bedroom once occupied by Adeline Myers, 1791 to 1832. Okay, lived here a while. Uh, she's the oldest daughter of Moses and Eliza. Pretty uh, simple bed. Of course, you've got your sampler. Seventeen ninety eight. It's over here. Oh, okay, before I go down there. Oh, nineteen sixty brickwork. Uh, original, 1795. Wow. What is all this? Adeline's Portal, 2020. Okay, blown, fused, cast, sculpted, flame work, cut, and etch glass. Painted wood, base glue, and other materials. Okay. Yeah, just some artwork back here, some blown glass. Let me walk around here. Okay, so yeah, there were between three and 12 slaves that lived in the house. Pause and read. The hyphen has undergone several changes. All right. Uh, record on the enslaved. This is a record of a slave named Henry buying his freedom from John Myers. Isn't that crazy? The sale of Robin, an enslaved man from Hannah Kemp to John Myers. A bill of sale from a mother-daughter pair. Gosh. Uh, there's the bathroom right there. Um, another bill of sale for uh, another enslaved man. That might be it for the upstairs. Okay, so here are the attic. Yeah, Moses and Eliza had 12 children, three of whom died in infancy. That's actually not too bad. Uh, and they occupied rooms in the attic until their teenage years. Then they moved into the bedrooms on, on the second floor. All right, so yeah, that's kind of crazy. You keep the infants all the way up here. It's probably 100 degrees in the summertime. But uh, anyway, yeah, there's baby cribs and toys. Yeah, there's not much back there. Just a little writing desk. Okay, that might be it for the inside of the Moses Myers house. Before I get out of here, I'll just show you the back of the house. A little dormer up there. Again, dental molding up top. Add-on back here. Well in there. And yeah, just garden. 
just the outbuilding. I'll just walk over, take a look at that. Kind of a little row of magnolias just to kind of block the uh, parking garage over there. Okay, there's more over here. Cool. Kind of muddy over here, but uh, what is that? I'll just take a quick walk over here. Try not to get my shoes muddy. See what this thing is. Trying to walk along the brick on the side here. But what is this thing? Oh, a fancy uh, sundial. What is that? It's like high tech. Haven't seen that type. Myers House Garden. Mm. Squirrel back there. Yeah. I wish I'd have saw this earlier. I would ask the lady uh, how this thing works. Interesting. Well, if anybody knows any more about this, uh, put it in the comments. <laughs> little hidden entrance back there cool all right that's it for the Moses Myers house and cool yeah self-guided tour I got, I got to film and should be a pretty decent video and right across the way uh, if you're ever down here they've got the Norfolk Police and Fire Museum and the Cannonball Trail uh, I took a photo of this. I might come back down maybe one day and walk it. A lot of historic houses in the area. Yeah. And right here sat the Whitehead House. <laughs> Built 1791. And there it is, 1885. So, and I don't know why I called that a uh, cathedral, but it's the uh, Freemason Street Baptist Church. So, oh, horn up there, pretty cool. Anyway, guys, uh, getting out of here. As always, like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and support me on Patreon. See ya.